Hey guys, I'm Doug Dykstra Heiss. I've uh, been in this industry for a little over 12 years now, and I've been at the current employer the entire time. So I'm a onesie. <laughs> So I'm a very loyal person, um, and uh, as many of you people know in this industry, there's always this, the grass is greener on the other side. Um, unfortunately, it seems like loyalty is, uh, at least to me, it seems like it's a thing of the past. Um, I don't really agree with that. I think loyalty is a pretty big core belief of mine, and that's what my biggest challenge was. Um, there's been a company that's been trying to get me to go work for them for the last several years. Um, I finally decided just, sure, I'll go meet with them. And they sure promised uh, the grass to be really green and lush and just kept telling me how great uh, I would do there. And, um, you know, I talked with my family about it and they were like, well, you know, loyalty is great, but, you know, maybe you need to start thinking about what's best for you. All right, so I did, I, I did think about what was best for me, and I called Brian Hampson, the owner of Stereo West Auto Toys. I just asked if I could buy him lunch. Um, when we were at lunch, I just laid out everything honestly and openly to him. I figured, um, you know, he at least deserved that amount of respect because that's what he's always given me. Um, what stunned me was his response. He showed me loyalty can be a uh, two-way street, and, uh, you know, that just really floored me, and it uh, it really showed that you know he the company values values me as uh, not only an employee but as a person. So I'm really glad uh, to stay where I'm at. Um, I was never unhappy here. Um, I've always been treated fairly, with respect, um, and it's just a great fit for me. And um, I'm really glad that uh, that's what they showed me when I had that meeting. I would like to think that uh, my coworkers. Uh, see me as an honest, dependable, hardworking individual. I'm usually the first to arrive and last to leave. I also really hope that they see that I care for uh, the sale I'm working on as well as the people um, that I'm doing the sale for. I feel I'm a, I use a pro-consumer sales technique. Uh, people don't have to spend their money with me. I'm selling this business I'm selling myself and I'm selling the value in the products that we're working with. Uh, I could tell you that I uh, use Carnegie's how to win friends and influence people technique or the ABC's uh, or even the racetrack selling but the truth of the matter is I'm, I'm using what the customer is giving me as a sales technique so they come in I'm, I'm reading how they are I'm acting like they have control first Sometimes it starts off slow and builds up, and then as some of you know, it goes zero to 100 real quick. So I, I match their energy. I'm just trying to read them. Uh, I think that allows me to build a pretty fast trust with them, because I'm listening to what they're asking and I'm answering those questions honestly. Sometimes I'll say, no, that's the wrong way to go. You don't want that, um, just because they don't know. They're here to get educated, and that's what I try to help them do. I educate responsible but one of uh, the more crucial things that's influenced my selling technique happened when I switched locations for the company I work for I went from a lower demographic clientele store that we did a lot of big base systems full-on analog style five channel amp installs on older cars alarm remote starts you know the bread and butter uh, and now where I'm at is a much more affluent clientele. So we can't just blindly throw a five channel amp and speakers in most of these vehicles. Um, so I had to really learn how to resell. And thanks to people like Ken Ward, Doug Dobson, Andy W in groups like Educar, I was really able to learn a lot about DSP and OEM integration selling. After using the search bar to see if I actually uh, need to ask a question in the forum or if I could find the information, I would always be blown away by the amount of information that Ken and Doug and Andy would just have and they'd just be so willing to share it freely. Uh, unless, of course, it was about a radio install. That's pretty, always pretty funny when that would happen. 
Uh, but anyway, also Chris Cook, uh, who's basically formed the community um, for Knowledge Fest. Uh, even though I personally haven't been able to go to Knowledge Fest yet, uh, the amount of information that comes from that and just filters down through the 12 volt industry is really uh, quite amazing. It's a really beautiful thing. Just the amount of knowledge that's out there is just so freely shared. Um, I know I'm really appreciative of that, and it's definitely helped up my selling game to these other vehicles that are more digital, way more computers. Um, you can't just, like I said, blindly throw a five channel in there. If I'm gonna talk about who influences me closer to home, uh, I would say David and Brian Hampson. Uh, they're the owners of Stereo S Auto Toys as well as the 12 volt dashboard. Um, they always have encouraged and fostered growth, whether it be on a personal level or as well as improving my selling techniques via a sales professional. I really wouldn't be here without, uh, without their guidance. I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, the 12 volt industry saved my life. Uh, that's another story for another day though. But for now, uh, that's, those are the people that have really influenced me the most uh, and molded my selling technique. So for the reason why I feel I should be considered for the, in the top 20 or greater, uh, first I'd like to thank David Hampson for the nomination. Uh, I'd also like to thank Richard Bassler for giving me a call to confirm my nomination. Uh, it's not something I take lightly. I'm beyond grateful for the opportunity um, to just even do this video. Why do I deserve this award? Well, I'm continually building positive relationships that make the 12 volt industry a better place. People leave the store after I get to work with them and they're not like, oh, 12 volt's just a bunch of big bass trunk rattling it, it's way more than that. It's, it's uh, just a big group of people that like to help people get from point A to point B in a more enjoyable way. And that's really what I think I do. I help people enjoy the ride from where they're at to where they're going. I don't take this nomination lightly. I'm very grateful for the opportunity. And I'm just going to continue to build relationships and leave a good image of 12 volt in people's minds. Thanks again for the nomination. Good luck to everybody out there, and cheers. I would rather earn their trust uh, by giving them honest answers so that they come back to me knowing that I'm gonna be real with them. Those are usually the people that will actually also directly refer people to me, which those are easy sales because they're like, oh, Doug, yeah, yeah, that's what I want. I'll trust you with it. Okay, great, swipe. It's important that my customers know that I have their back. Um, like I said, I'm pro-consumer. I'm a consumer, and so I think it's important for them to know that as long as I'm at Stereo West Auto Toys, I'm always gonna listen to their questions, their comments, their concerns. Recently, we had someone come in that had bought something a little over a year ago. It was out of warranty. I reached out to the company that it was out of warranty with, and they were able to give me a exception beyond the warranty date. And so that's how I'll have customers back. So I'll always try to go above and beyond for you. A sale doesn't end when I take your money. That's when the sale really can kind of begin if I want return business or referral-based business. I'll always have your back.